Welcome back. We are here looking at the commodities market and the precious metals market. This is going to be my daily forecast for Monday, August 16, 2021. If you like support the channel, you're going to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner, hit the like button and the bell button to see our new videos. And we'll start by looking at the US dollar index. And it took a real beating on Friday, and uh, that beating couldn't continue uh, for the next uh, few days. As we can see, that the MACD is crossing the signal lines, the casting has crossed the signal line, and the RSI is also very bearish. So 300 moving average right here at uh, 92.2 and also the 50 moving average down here at 92. And that's probably as far as this will go. Last time we got down here, we probably will see this just continue going higher. It has uh, ran into resistance at the same level that we have had problems in the past. And uh, we have tested it two times. And if we were to break below the 50 moving average, we'll go towards a uh, 200 moving average down here at 91.2 and then all the way down back towards 89. But at the moment, we're still hanging on to this uptrend. So let's look at oil. So oil is uh, struggling still. Uh, we are falling apart here and uh, uh, whether or not, uh, whether or not uh, uh, markets will break below uh, the 65 level, that is going to be the question. Getting rejected here at the 20 exponential, that is definitely not a good sign. It kind of looked like we were doing a, a W um, shape pattern here, but uh, the rejection here on Friday, that's definitely not a good sign for this market. Breaking below here, that opens the door to the 200 moving average down at uh, 59.85. And break below that then this is going to go significantly lower but 200 moving average should be as far as this you go which also was a massive um, support here in the past so let's look at natural gas so natural gas continues to fall uh, three days in a row and we have fallen below the middle of the bullish band. Also, the 20 exponential did rally up and got rejected there. And at the moment, it kind of looks like we're going to head towards the 50 moving average, which is at 3.366. MACD is very bearish. Stochastic is bearish. And so is RSI. So uh, we have not broken below the 20 exponential for a very long time. We can see it here. We haven't had a close below the 20 exponential. We have to go all the way back to the beginning of April after this massive rally here to the upside. There are still very extreme weather conditions in North America, which should um, be very bullish for this market. But um, this is probably just a buying opportunity heading towards the 50 moving average. And uh, buyers will most likely come back in at the 3.8 or 3.66, which is around this area here. Drop below here, then we can see this market completely fall apart and down towards the $3. So let's look at copper. So copper is still struggling at uh, basically in the middle of the bullish band here. 20, 50 moving average are also at the same level. We did rally up towards 4.4 and then gave most uh, all of those gains back, ending up at uh, 4.35. MACD is bearish, stochastic is bullish, and the RSI is flat at this point. Uh, breaking below this candlestick here could open the door back towards the 200 moving average. Otherwise, um, yes, nothing really happening in this market at this current stage. So let's look at gold. So depreciation of uh, the US dollar has definitely been very uh, positive for a gold market. We are still... Um, it did rally significantly on Friday, but we're still underneath the 20 exponential. Question is whether or not we managed to break above the 20 exponential moving average. As I said, the US dollar could be um, depreciating the next um, two, probably three trading days. And that, of course, will be bullish for gold. And uh, if you look at Fibonacci retracements here, we can see that we are right at the 61.8 Fibonacci retracement and also at the 20 exponential. And then we have the you know, middle of the bullish band right here as well. So um, it is to be seen. MACD is still uh, bearish. Stochastic is bullish and RSI is bullish. There's a lot of room to the upside. If we manage to break above um, 1800, then it's very likely that we'll go back towards the very highs. So let's look at silver. 
So silver has started to rally, has um, has been lagging compared to gold. It has been gold has been much more bullish than silver. And usually gold is the leading uh, leading indicator here. So at the moment, if we uh, compare this to basically the gold, gold has been rallying up towards the 20 exponential, which is roughly here in gold. Uh, silver is at the 24.6. MACD is uh, bearish still. Stochastic is bullish and the RSI is bullish as well. So we may see this uh, continue rally up towards the 20 exponential where we got really rejected in uh, the past. It was basically at the 20 exponential that this completely fell apart. So up to this point, we could see this continue dropping as we are technically in a downtrend at this point. So let's look at platinum. Yes, Platinum has rallied up towards the 300 moving average, 20 exponential moving average also right here. MACD is crossing the signal line, indicating bullish momentum, so is the stochastic and the RSI as well. Question is whether or not we are going to get rejected here, fall back towards the support level at 956, or if we manage to break above the middle of the bullish band and head towards the 50 moving average. We have a crossing here of the 50 and the 200, which usually means that in the long term, this should be heading much lower. So that is the question here, whether or not we get rejected here and continue to fall. So let's look at Pallium. So Pallium has rallied up towards the 20 exponential and got rejected there quite heavily. We got rejected here, 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 and all of these so 20 exponential is a massive struggle for this market and if we tumble then the 200 moving average could come into play 25 uh, 58 is at the 20 200 moving average break below that then we have the open door to the 300 at 24 33. macd is flat stochastic is bullish and rsi is bullish as well so let's look at aluminium so aluminium has been significantly more bullish uh, compared to the other uh, other metals. And uh, on Friday, we did rally up towards uh, 26.18 and got rejected there. At the moment, it looks like we're going to head back towards the middle of the bullish band or probably to the 50 moving average at 24.92. MACD is bearish, stochastic is bearish, and the RSI is flat at this current stage. So let's look at nickel. So nickel continues to rally and uh, it is technically 50 moving average um, that is a massive support you can see here also here so buying the dips of the 50 moving average has been fairly profitable for those that have done that and uh, due to the fact that the moves up towards the top of the bullish band are quite substantial is probably could also sell this towards the 50 moving average but buying the dips at the 20 and the 50 that has been working out quite nicely since basically april since we broke out of this range here so we are struggling at 20k breaking above 20k then this market will go significantly higher most likely go significantly higher supposed to say so let's look at sugar so this got uh, way out of hand on the friday session and at the moment, we are significantly overstretched, overbought, and we also have significantly overstretched. So a pullback at this point is uh, kind of inevitable. Uh, it's not sustainable to have this kind of rally without this market pulling back. So pullbacks at this point should be around here, which is at 0 0.1889. That's kind of where with this market will pull back to. And, and we also have the 20 exponential moving in this range, 50 moving average moving in this range. So pull back to this level, then higher, that could be where it will see. So let's look at cotton. So cotton also did manage to break above or just create a double top here. That is to be seen. It is very uh, overstretched at the moment and also on the edge of being overbought. So pull back at this point towards the middle of the bullish band, that could be expected. Um, yes. That is kind of what is expected for this market. It's been on a very, very nice channel to the upside. And the bottom of this market has been 20 exponential, at, at, which is at the moment roughly at 0 0.9059. Breaking above here, then we could be heading towards 
one. So let's look at Cocoa. So Cocoa uh, really took off on Friday, as most of these um, commodities have been doing. It is significantly or bought at the moment, significantly or stretched. So a pullback um, should be expected at this point. Last time we were uh, this exposed to the upside, we can see it right here. That happened, and then we saw this happen, and then we saw that happen, and so on. So uh, getting this far outside of the bullish band is usually a massive warning for this market uh, historically. MACD is still very bullish, Stochastic is bullish, and RSI is overbought at this point. So let's look at wheat. So wheat uh, got towards the very highs here and then pulled back quite significantly. We were overbought, we're not overbought now. MACD is still bullish, Stochastic is also bullish, but pullbacks at this moment, at this point, towards support around 709, which is the uh, middle of the bullish band at this current stage, it won't go that far. Probably uh, 723, it will be at the bottom here before going higher. It is very bullish, and um, but at this current stage, very significantly overstretched and overbought, and a pullback kind of is inevitable at this point. So, hope you find it helpful. You want to support the channel by subscribing and hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos. And good luck, and thank you very much.